The future of English Rugby League was on display as England youth took on France in a two-match series. Head coach Stuart Barrow had his team in camp for two days ahead of the first test at Widnes' Stobart Stadium. It's gone really, really well. When we arrived at uh, so Mount St Mary's in Sheffield, there was snow on all the pitches, but didn't phase the boys at all. We went inside and did an indoor session, and straight away I could see the quality of the, of the team, and they came together really well as a group. And I knew we were in for a good two days preparation. It's about staying in structure and shape, really, because they're used to running all over the field and doing all the things at their amateur club. So it's about learning them how to be disciplined enough to stay in systems and structure. We got an exciting game in prospect today. Then we got some uh, exciting players out there. Yeah, it'll be a really good game. Hopefully, even in these conditions, we can see some really open and expansive rugby. And, you know, that'll be the challenge for them. Can they perform under both the mental pressure and the conditions and the physical opposition against them as well? Two days we've had preparation in camp. It's been excellent. It's excellent. I've got confidence. We've got confidence that we're ready to perform out there. We've done a lot of talking today about what's going to happen out there about the distractions that you've coped with admirably so far. Now it's time to perform. You are the best players in your age group in the country. You need to remember that when you go out there. Final message from me is, we've done the talking, let's go and do the action. We came together as individuals, we're going to walk through that door now as a team. On you boys with Shane. The intensity of international competition was etched on the players' faces as England captain Liam Johnson led out his side. The game was full of attacking flair, both teams looking dangerous with ball in hand. It was the French though who came in with a narrow half-time lead of 14 points to 12. England charged into the second period, scoring three quick tries in 15 minutes opening up a lead. The sizeable French forwards, however, proved their worth later on in the contest, pinning England in their own half, allowing France to turn round the scoreline. And the game finished 34 points to 26 to the French. But England didn't have long to dwell on the defeat, just three days in camp before the second test. And Stuart Barrow would be looking for improvements in defence at the Rapid Solicitor Stadium. England showed early that they'd come to play, Ryan Ince dancing through the defence to get the first try of the game. Hooker Ben Parker then sniped round the rook for England's second. Another break from Ince then left an easy run in for bat rower Jake Moore. Before local lad Max Jowett finished off a nice sweeping move down the back line, which left enough time for Ben Parker to again show a keen eye for a gap to touch down, leaving a half time score of 28 0 and England's defensive work clear for all to see. Jowett then scored the try of the game, busting through tackles, handing off to run in from 70 metres out. The French team were clearly riled, but they did manage to pull two tries back in the second, busting over from close range. Jowett then turned provider with a dancing run, bamboozling the French defence and offloading to Warrington Wolves, Rhys Brunt. England's impressive attack continued throughout the second half capped off with this incredible finish from centre, Harvey Livett. And the comeback was complete, England winning the series on points difference and a man of the match performance for local Wakefield Wildcat, Max Jowett. Oh, very proud of me to say, I think it was a Friday night as well. So we've worked hard in camp, come out, good win. Worked together as a team really well. 
biggest achievement so far. It's, it's an honour leading us to a victory. Uh, we didn't play right well on, on Friday, but we've worked really hard in training. We've come back at it and come away with a victory. It's amazing, yeah. We did a lot of defence work on Sunday with a full day in defence, so that, that's helped us a lot. So, working hard, isn't it? Um, I think Nerve got to us a bit on Friday. Uh, we, we hadn't bonded properly, but being in camp, it's brought us properly like, together as a real strong team. Um, we've worked on our defence quite a lot, which um, obviously showed off as we held them out uh, for the first half and most of the second half. So it's, yeah, we've picked up quite well. So we've come in as 31 individuals and we've come out of team definitely. That's helped from camp and there's a um, course that we did in the army as well. It's worked really well. It was amazing, best feeling ever. We came in here um, today and they thought they'd have, they'd have us because they won first test, but told them out first half and then just dominated throughout the whole game. It's, it's an amazing achievement, yeah, it's great on it.